All right, so in this video, we're looking to construct a 98% confidence interval for the true average salary of all National League, Major League Baseball pitchers in 2005. So we have a sample of values that said that we had 31 pitchers. We have their sample mean is about 2.5 million, standard deviation about 4 million, and then the confidence level 98%, alpha 2%. Our next step of a confidence interval after we've copied down all the information from the problem is to come up with the critical value. Because this sample size is over 30, I'm going to go ahead and use Z alpha divided by 2 as my critical value. Now, alpha here is 2%, so half of alpha is 0 0.01. So let's go ahead and look at our 0 0.01 value up on our T table where we can find the Z scores in the very last row under the column that says 0 0.01. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so here we are at our T table. We're looking in the 0 0.01 column. We're gonna go straight to the bottom where we can find the value 2.326, 2.326. So we find that this number is 2.326. And from there, we'll take that value and plug it in for our margin of error formula. Margin of error is gonna be Z alpha divided by two sigma over the square root of N. Now, in this case, the Z alpha is 2.326. Sigma will substitute S for that. So we're going to use 4,065,579. And all of that will be divided by the square root of N, the square root of 31 in this case. All right, so let's figure out what that turns out to be. All right, so we'll have 2.326 times 4,065,579. 65,579 divided by the square root of 31. So we get 1,698,444.14. Now with that margin of error, we're then going to add and subtract it to the sample mean to finish up the interval. So our X bar minus error, X bar plus error interval. So to fill that in, we're just going to take that value, 2,522,785, subtract off the error we just found, and then do the same thing again, but we'll add the error this time. Okay, so that is our interval essentially. All right, so let's see what this ends up producing then when we do that in our calculator. So I'm going to store this error in my calculator as x, just so I don't have to keep typing it back in. And then I'm just going to do the 2,522,785, and I'm subtract off the error. That's this value x, and I hit enter, and there's the first part of the answer. Then I'm going to bring that back up again. Oops, pardon me. Bring up the calculation I just did again, but this time I'm going to add that error in. And so you see our answer then becomes 824,340 up to 4,221,000, etc. So let's go ahead and copy that down. All right, so remember what this interval is supposed to contain. It's supposed to contain the true average salary, the true average salary for National League pitchers in 2005. So that's what we're supposed to have in between these two values.